hello here we will discuss about study design so first we will start did investigator design exposure if it is yes then it is experimental study design and if it is no then it is observational study design experimental study design if there is experimental if there is random allocation then yes if random allocation option yes then it would be the randomized control trial and if there is no random allocation then it would be non randomized control trial now if we see the observational study design and if it is comparison group if it is yes then it would be the analytical study design otherwise if there is no comparison group then it would be the descriptive study design now we need to understand analytical study design analytical study design if there is a different direction of the studies then we will go for the cohort study design case control study design and cross sectional study design so here point is that we need to understand what is the cohort study design so cohort study design we can understand if the study begins with an exposure for example oral contraceptive use and follows women for a few years to measure outcomes for example ovarian cancer then it is like cohort studies now we need to understand case control studies case control studies if the analytical study begins with an outcome means outcome is aware like ovarian cancer and looks backward in time for an exposure such as use of oral contraceptives then the study is case control studies now we need to understand cross sectional study design cross sectional as example would be measurement of serum cholesterol of men admitted to a hospital with myocardial infection versus that of their next door neighbor this type of study provides a snapshot of the population of sick and well at one time points now the point is in key points we need to understand for cohort studies if we are aware about exposure and we are trying to find out the outcome then this is cohort study design i'm talking about if we are aware about exposure and we are following the outcome then it is comes under cohort study design and next in case control study design if you see here case control study design if we are aware about the outcome all outcome already given we are trying to we are trying to find out the exposure so then it would be the it would be the case control study design this is the key points we need to understand and next cross sectional study exposure and outcome at the same time then we go for cross sectional study design especially all the surveys kind of the studies we generally comes under the cross sectional study design now if we see the observational study designs we have talked about the if there is comparison group then we'll go for the analytical study design if there is no comparison group then we'll go for descriptive study design 
and descriptive study design we can understand if studies without comparison proofs are called descriptive studies in this in this studies we can write case report case series and like pilot kind of the pilot studies we can do so this is overall basic concept of the study design we need to understand as we know study design is one of the important parameter once we are going to begin any kind of the studies or we are going to write research article or we are going to complete phd thesis we must be aware and concept should be clear about study design then we'll go for final outcomes thank you